Time to make the veal, and we have all our components here. Tell us a little bit okay. about what we're using, Chef. Well, this morning we're going to uh, we're going to use some uh, veal leg slices. Mm -hmm. We're going to pound them out, okay. dredge them through some flour. Then we're going to saute them in a little butter and olive oil. Okay. We're going to take that out, use that seasoned pan to saute our mushrooms with uh, garlic and shallots. And these are just wild mixture of Wild. We have uh, Bastiani, oyster, mm -hmm. shiitake, uh, nice portabella. So we usually we use about four to five types of mushrooms, okay. which gives it a lot really more gives it more flavor and yeah. texture. Uh, then we're going to finish it off by deglazing with uh, the marsala and some uh, veal demi glace. Okay. Spice it up with a little parsley, salt, pepper. I see yeah. some fresh rosemary. Fresh back rosemary. Here too. We're going to use as a garnish, but we're yeah. also going to saute off some uh, fresh spinach. Ooh to go along with the four cheese risotto uh -huh. that we're going to give you a workout because one of the things stir. about four cheese risotto <laughs> is you have to keep stirring That's it. That's right. Uh, and uh, we've got a right. pot of it ready going for this evening. Okay. So we're going to kind of <laughs> have you keep stirring that so that the good. cheese doesn't settle. Okay. We can okay. do that. Well, we're going to start with uh, by okay. pounding out the veal. And th this right. is an important step. And a lot this of people is... probably had chicken marsala, but maybe never had veal marsala. Right. And one of the reasons you want to pound this out is to uh, to make sure that it's nice and tender. Mm -hmm. And the, the, one of the best things to do is to uh, fold many sheets of plastic okay. over. And, and put it regular saran wrap. Right, just regular saran wrap. And put it in between. And then you can lightly pound it. There's no reason to uh, take out your aggression. Kill it. It's already dead. <laughs> Do that when you're chopping the mushrooms. Then be gentle with right. the veal. Now, and so you want this about how thin? Uh, we really want it pretty much paper thin. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can use veal uh, veal leg. You can use a veal loin. You could use the tenderloin. Of course, then it just comes down to price. And anytime you're using veal, you're looking between uh, the high nines uh, and thirteen dollars a pound. So it's not cheap. No, it's not. But for a special occasion, it would be nice. Right. And, and if we didn't want to use veal, you could use you could chicken use chicken. Or... Uh, I don't know that anybody's that I know of does a, a pork marsala, but uh, you could definitely do chicken. Good try. This is just some uh, seasoned flour. Seasoned flour, salt, pepper with uh, a nice uh, all-purpose flour. Okay. We're just going to lightly dredge that, just enough to uh, coat it, yeah, just lightly shake coat off it. the excess. Okay. And once we're done with this, we want to get it out of the way because we don't want any cross contamination. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. We're going to come over so here and we're going to turn up the saute pan, get it nice and hot. Then we're going to add in a little bit of butter and olive oil. And one of the things we do here is we use a seasoned olive oil that has garlic, sun-dried wow. tomatoes, wow. basil, parsley, and kosher salt. Ooh, so the oil really has a lot of flavor. Boy, with yes. Now with uh, this batch oh. of four cheese risotto is just a small batch that yeah. we're working on for tonight's <laughs> dinner. What and else in this? We have our uh, arborio rice. We have chicken stock. We have more white wine than chicken stock, though. Okay. We have salt, pepper, and we have four types of cheeses. We have Gure, Gorgonzola, Asiago, and Fontina. Wow, so this is another big flavor. Right. And then we have here. a little bit of fresh herbs in there. That's why okay. I need to keep stirring this, huh? I'm going to take just a little bit of seasoned oil. Now, what, you're using oil, but why are you going to use the butter as well? Well, too? we're going to use the butter so that we also have that creaminess uh, flavor. Okay. So that we pick up some creaminess flavor Boy, there. Boy, you can smell the uh, garlic and the sun dried tomatoes and the oil. It smells wonderful. And the only thing we want to do here is just give this a very quick saute. Yeah, I wouldn't think this will last very long. Just to sear the meat. And that's so thin and your pan is so hot, that will cook very quickly. It's going to cook very, very fast, very quickly. Once we get a nice uh, brown on each side. Do you want me to get a plate for you? Yeah, we have a plate right here. And we're just going to take that out, put it right onto the plate. So if you would overcook this, it's going to be tough and not Right, very it would tasty, be tough, it? but uh, we don't want that. So what we're going to do is add a little bit of uh, butter back to the pan. 
with a little bit of uh, fresh shallots. That'll be nice flavor too. Some garlic. This is a pretty quick dish too. Oh uh, yes, it is a very quick dish. We're just going to saute that and then we're going to add in some fresh mushrooms. And uh, don't be shy on your mushrooms. You want a, quite a bit of mushroom in there because that's really going to make make the sauce. Oh yeah. They just absorb up all that flavor too, don't they? And as it absorbs, you can add just a little bit of uh, wine back in. Now, did you have anything like this when you were over in Rome? Uh, when I was in Rome, I actually had a uh, had a wonderful marsala uh, that was very good and to. Uh, Finish the uh, evening off. I had a wonderful creme brulee. Uh -huh. It was to die for. Yum. And you know, you would always think that, uh, in especially France, you might always have the best desserts. But I actually I had a uh, cheese plate that was better than my uh, Milan custard plate that evening. The cheese in Europe is heavenly. Oh yes. Yeah. Now you can see how something. we're getting those nice uh, yeah. brown, so they they cook up nice and crisp. Now we're going to uh, deglaze with a little bit of uh, marsala. And that's just the wine. Okay. Imagine when you've got of four drama. or five cooks <laughs> up here and you've got all the flames going. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add in some fresh uh, veal stock. Okay. And we make everything here ourselves. The veal stock we start to uh, off. We let it cook for two days. And at home, if you didn't have the time or want to do that, there's a lot of nice uh, right. products Right. You, you out can buy some really you. like yeah. Norse, Swiss, Demi Glaze already yeah. made for you. Okay. Then what we're going to do well. is just season that up with just a touch of salt and pepper. Okay. And add in a little bit of uh, parsley. And That's we're going to have a wonderful much. marsala sauce. And what we're going to do is go ahead and put our veal back in there, oh. which is going to uh, keep it nice and moist and tender. And we're going to just set that off to the side. And we're going to very quickly get this pan hot and we're going to quickly saute up a little bit of spinach, just in some seasoned oil. And then we're going to plate it with the four cheese risotto oh, yeah. that we cooked here for tonight's service right, that, I'm that you're on. working on. Stirring, stirring. Now, is spinach the uh, traditional accompaniment to this dish, or is this uh, kind of your twist on it? Uh, well, it's a little bit of my twist. The spinach uh, in uh, Europe, uh, along with asparagus, uh, snap peas, green beans, is very, very popular. And you can see the oil is very hot very quickly. We're just going to add some spinach in there. We're going to hit this with a touch of salt and pepper. And as the spinach cooks down, we're just going to lightly hit just a little bit of white wine on there. Nice dry white wine, I'm sure. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just a touch, and the little touch extra of liquid there is going to help wilt that a little bit faster. A little bit more drama. Yes, we like that. I think. One thing everybody thinks about when they're sautéing a vegetable is to cook the dickens out of it. Yeah. But really and truly, you just want to wilt it and you know, get some of the fresh juices, get everything to come together, and you're ready. And that's it's very it. easily. What we're going to do is we're going to take a plate. We're going to go ahead and spoon a little bit of that fresh four cheese yeah. risotto right up there. This is a big, rich dish, isn't it? Oh, yes. We're going to just take a little bit of that spinach. Put around it. How pretty too. You have the Italian colors going here too, don't we? Yeah, Green we just need white, something need red. red. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Think about that. Then we're just going to take our uh, veal. Put that, the side. Put that off to the side. Okay. We're going to take our lovely marsala sauce. A little bit hot. Yeah, there. sometimes you got to remember <laughs> to use your rags. Those asbestos hands. And we're just going to drape that wonderful, wonderful sauce with all those mushrooms right over it. And one thing I like to do is get a few more of those mushrooms out of there sure. so the sauce is very meaty 
full of those mushrooms. Especially with the types of mushrooms we have going in there. And then we're just going to uh, dress this plate up with a little bit of fresh rosemary. Maybe sprinkle a little fresh parsley up on the rim. Oh, the little rosemary, rosemary sprig. And you have a wonderful, wonderful plate here that you can Voila. serve to your guest and have a nice enjoyable meal. And probably with a red Italian wine on this. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, I'd still go with that uh, Criantha, 1988 Criantha Bajoff because it's just incredible loaded with uh, oh, yeah. fruit the flavors. Fruit that, the nose uh, on it was amazing. Which would go with all the earth tones that you have here from the spinach and the mushrooms and of course that sweetness of the Marsala. Sounds good. Thank you, Let's Chef, go enjoy. so much. Let's do it.